Hey everybody, how's it going? Memphis J here from Black and Tan Media, and I got a quick video on loading loading 35mm film into Nikon 35mm camera. In this case, it's the FG series, the FG20. So, um, if you're brand new to film cameras, then this is a good video for you, because I saw there are a couple already, but they're basically just showing you someone do it and they don't explain anything so if you don't know anything about this camera you'll be a little confused this camera takes batteries you want to make sure number one that you've got batteries and then it's working you get a coin in here bop 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 take it out there's a little spot there's three different combos of batteries i'll pop up what those are you want to put them on top of each other inside of here with the positive spacing up. If you want to make sure whether or not your batteries are working you take the lens cap off and have a lens on here look through the viewfinder, slightly halfway to press the shutter button, and a little needle will bounce up if you have battery power. If it stays up for 10 to 20, 20 seconds or so, whatever's what the manual says, that means the battery's good. If it drops down within like three seconds, your battery's getting low. If it doesn't move, then you have no juice and you need new batteries. So that's some stuff you want to check with the 35 millimeter before you waste the roll of film putting it in there. You wanna make sure that it has power and that the shutter works. So the way to make sure that that works, besides just clicking it and making sure you hear something, the way you open this camera, you can pop this little handle up if you want, or you can just grab the little wheel around the edges, around the edges right here. But you want to pull this inner black wheel up, and when it gets to where it feels like it won't open up anymore, pull it up just a little bit more, and that will pop this door open and if you need to advance the camera you do it with this little paddle now watch here see that the shutter works in this case so if we know that we've got good batteries and we know that that's working then we can go ahead and load film in there so what you want to do is take this end with the one that sticks out it goes down the long end down. You want to put the top in first and then let this bounce down. Now to grab it, push that on down and it'll start to grab it here. Put it down. You're going to want to pull this film over and advance it to at least cover here. And then if you notice, there's a little divot, a little uh, cavity that you can place this film into. Not behind, but on this wheel, there's a little cavity that you can stick this film into. Right here on this wheel, stick the film into that little cavity, and then use this paddle to pull it. Now you're going to want to make sure that it's got it. In this case, I don't think it did. I'll make sure. I'll put it into this one and see that these little teeth grab it and then it gets into one of these openings. If you if this won't move, then you need to push your shutter button so that it will let you advance it. Now, if you see with me moving it, you see it's grabbing it here. Now you see it coming around the corner. That means it's getting it. You wanna ensure that the teeth are grabbing the film here and that the teeth are grabbing the film and wrapping it around here. So, to make sure, I'll do it one more time. Click the shutter, pull it through. You can see it's advancing it, and now it's backwards onto here. So, normally you don't want to expose the film to any more light than you have to, but I'm keeping good bright lights so you can see it. Once you've got it, and you're pretty sure it's wrapped around there, you can, after you close it, you can pop this little handle lever out, and pull around uh, clockwise and make sure that this film is getting pulled back in tight. You can do that with this close still too. You just want to make sure it feels tight and set that back down. Um, there is a little window right here and it's going to start at S. So again, to get it to move forward, if it won't, click your shutter button, move it forward. Well, I'm going to keep doing that until this S goes to the red number one. All 
All right, that's now on number one. So it took three or four pulls for me to get it to go ahead and start on the number one. That's how you load film into there. Uh, as far as setting the ISO of your film, in my case it was 400. There's little numbers here. You lift this little outer dial up and move it. There's a little white dot that moves along. The main ones are going to be in red, so in this case it's 400. There's more advanced that you can use the settings. If you don't know anything about the camera, this little green A right here is for auto. If you get onto it, this wheel will not move unless you press this little button. It'll lock it from the little sound, which is green sound waves, next to the A. If you want to move back and forth from those, you got to press this little button. But once you get into a manual shutter speed, which is where it says a thousand, all the way down to a one M90 and then B, it'll move freely through those. You don't have to press the button for that. So, but once it clicks into A, you're in auto mode. So if you don't know a whole lot, use the auto mode. You can use that little meter in here to help expose. But that's stuff that we can talk about on a uh, another video. So hopefully this video helped you load film into your Nikon camera. Thanks for checking it out. Again, I'm Memphis J with Black and Tan Media, and uh, if you're new to the channel, we really appreciate you subscribing. So, again, thanks for checking it out. Take it easy. Peace.